mentioned I'm, I'm 70. And let's say because of your company five years from now, um, what's going to change in my world or somebody like me? Uh, what, what's, what's going to be the one thing because of what you're doing uh, that uh, wouldn't have been true back in 2024 if we're talking about 2029? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you for um, having us. And this is an honor to be here. What Linus is really bringing with our core cognitive evaluation for five years from now is your ability to prevent dementia. Uh, so just like de uh, detecting cancer early or finding you know hypertension before your heart attack, the ability to have a digital tool that measures your cognition so sensitively that you know that you have mild cognitive impairment and can begin to act against that knowledge and prevent dementia. So 90% of people with mild cognitive impairment are currently undiagnosed. And at that stage, 70% uh, of people can either improve their thinking or stabilize their thinking uh, without medication. So my three port question is, um, you know, what are you doing within your very innovative uh, spaces to put trust in and, and trust being as important to technology? Who's going to pay uh, for 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 what you're doing, and 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 where where do those uh, where where do those benefits benefits accrue? And how can you make sure that the the new technologies uh, aren't just helping you know Steve Clasco in Miami, but helping you know Mrs. Jones in in North Philadelphia that might not have access to or a ring and Apple Watch and the technologies that you're doing. Uh, so equity, trust, and access are are pillars at, at Linus. Uh, if you're going to have a uh, AI generated um, score that aids doctors in in diagnosing early cognitive early cognitive impairment or dementia, it's really important that you come into this trying to eliminate the bias of the current system. The current paper and pencil tests do really poorly in minorities, and we knew that coming in. So we've studied uh, it longitudinally, not only in the Framingham Heart Study, but also the Rush Minority Cohort. Our most recent clinical trial actually showed that we had no ethnic or racial disparity in our score. We've deployed the technology in community clinics in Jamaica, uh, as well as in public health clinics in, in Mexico City to really push and uh, ensure that we're not bringing bias into our testing. Uh, with regard to the to the trust, uh, there is the uh, trust from the clinical validity. Uh, so we have pushed through uh, major clinical trials. We recently closed a, a thousand person clinical trial that had full neurocognitive testing, PET scanning, and, and full diagnosis and compared ourselves to those absolute gold standards uh, so that somebody can actually really take and, and, and step away with a good clinical validity and, and, and trust in that. Uh, and then from a uh, medical device perspective, you really need to build uh, so that it will be covered by insurance. So we have purpose built to meet all of the Medicare, Medicaid requirements for reimbursement. Uh, so this can be done at no to little, little cost to patients because their, their physicians and their clinics are reimbursed for administering and interpreting the test and providing them with education and, and the care plan. Uh, so over the last decade, it has been a huge focus to eliminate the bias of the current paper and pencil tests, get the clinicians reimbursed so that they're able to execute against this uh, and do so with enough clinical validity that we can get adoption. What I want to, what I, it's hit me coming over from the traditional healthcare ecosystem to general catalyst that um, the humans that are involved in your team are incredibly important. Um, and, you know, all of you have curated, because it's all your money, um, uh, who you have on your team. So in three to five words, um, if you could just say, you know, what, what defines the culture of your team that really makes it unique that will get somebody to want to invest in you? Having good humans on the team is paramount. Uh, 